Diyos, mga kalalaki ayaw, narito ngayong umaga! The title given to me is like a tree planted by the streams of water. In Psalm chapter 1, Psalm chapter 1 verse 1 says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, Amen. and who meditates on, this, on His law day and night. Right. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, yeah. which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Wow. It is such an amazing scripture. The Bible says that those who, are, who delights in the law of the Lord are like those trees planted in the streams of water. Yeah. The word here is planted. It means that you didn't just pop out of nowhere. You're not a mushroom. You are a tree. You were tended by God. You were cared by God. God wanted to invest in you. You are in the right place at the right time. God planted you so that you can grow. Not this time. The word stream is not the same as actually as the word river. But the word uh, the word to split, to divide, or to cleave. Wow. So in the ancient in Egypt, during that time, so they will have a big river, but the people would create artificial smaller rivers. They would dig trenches out of the main ones so that the water will be distributed throughout the land, and in turn, the whole land will return fertile. And so God does not want you just to settle with just buckets of water. But God wants to give you the whole river. So you wonder why there's in instability in your life. There's impurity. Why there's emotional immaturity in your life. The, the real problem is you're not planted at the streams of water. My challenge for us brothers is to not just only get some bucket of or nugget but let's be planted in the streams of water. My challenge for us this year, or for the next half of the year, is to not only not miss our quiet times, but as we do and show up into our quiet times, let's not stop having our quiet times until we hear the voice of God. Until we feel the waters of God in our spirit. My challenge for you, every single day, have the best quiet times of your life because we are men who are planted by the waters and to God be all the glory.